Hi guys, welcome to the fourth episode of PCF tutorial for beginners. Today, we will see how to create your first project using PCF Builder tool in the XRM toolbox. In the previous videos, we have seen how to install XRM toolbox and enable PCF Builder plugin. Before we start, I would like to advise all of you to go to Microsoft documentation and get an understanding on the different commands we use for creating a project because that will be helpful in the later stages or once you are an expert or once you have gained enough experience in building PCF controls, you must get an idea or this knowledge or this knowledge will help you to develop more advanced components. Between uh, this PCF builder tool was developed by Power Maverick, a Microsoft MVP Danish. He is running Microsoft uh, Pro Code or Pro Developer uh, Mentoring for PCF Controls. I'll be sharing the link in the description. You can register for the mentoring if you require more advanced Pro Developer level detailed explanations and uh, videos and tutorials. He is really helpful and he uh, will share you the sample codes and share the Git repos which he has developed multiple controls and components. So. I hope uh, that will be very helpful for you guys or if somebody wants to get an advanced level knowledge those sessions will be really helpful okay now let's start let's open PCF custom control builder we have seen all these steps uh, in the previous video so I'm not going to explain again detail uh, so let's create new from blank this will be asking for the location control location the folder where you want to build a new control like for each new control i advise you to start with a new uh, folder so i'm just i just copying and pasting my control name see uh, my control name is linear component this is the same control given in the docs.microsoft.com so that it will be easy for you to read the microsoft documentation and develop along with me uh, with this control builder because in the Microsoft documentation they have mentioned developing using command line interface but here we are going to use PC of builder tool and another thing is you need visual studio command prompt location so I'll be sharing uh, this location in the description you can use the same or they, it might be slightly different for your system but it which is easily uh, or which you can easily identify with a uh, few Google searches uh, visual studio command from lo location uh, actually this command prompt location is not necessary for creating a project but unfortunately this is mandatory uh, parameter now uh, as per uh, Danish uh, he will be removing this mandatory requirement in the coming up update so I hope in the next two or three releases this uh, Visual Studio command prompt will be a non mandatory item so time being uh, gets this thing filled in and one more thing or good thing about uh, this tool is that it will show the commands executing here so that you can easily understand also like uh, when you read the Microsoft documentation you can see all the commands and when you let's say you click on the create button it instantly shows which command is running over here so it will be easy uh, for you to connect or relate between Microsoft documentation and this tool so here uh, first parameter for creating a project is namespace namespace you all are aware or you can give any namespace which your company or you use for your developing uh, your developments like plugins or custom workflows or other code components so for me now i'm giving x nj x symbol and namespace uh, and next the control name uh, the name of the control so i'm gonna give the same name here linear component uh, i'm sorry just removing it so my control name is linear component and one more thing there should not be any spaces in between this name uh, it, command won't work if you put any spaces uh, so uh, there should not be any spaces or any special characters you can use underscore if you need that's it so that's it another mandatory field is a template template i thing uh, we have discussed in many videos there are two types of uh, templates field and data set today we will be creating of type field and we will be explaining uh, everything in very detail on the coming videos and uh, we will have another session for data set also so I'm selecting field now 
I am just unchecking this one for now. Increment version is like each time you build, system will automatically increment the version. There is a non bug for the first time when you build, click on build, it will show an error because this field is empty. Uh, but that's okay, I think you can just simply click OK and go ahead. So now I am going to create my new project by clicking on the create button. So you can see the uh, control, control name and pack pc of in its namespace name of the control everything is there so it is exactly same as the microsoft documentation cli you can see the command line here and i think this guy there will be some warnings you can ignore those warnings here because uh, in the package library or microsoft package uses some of the older versions of the libraries that's why these errors are coming in that's fine so let's see what happens here when this once this command is executed uh, let's go to the folder you can see this command automatically installs all the requirement co uh, components and nuggets package it is uh, still in progress that's why uh, you can see all the things happening in here let's say we refresh yeah so all the comments are there this is the control folder the non not modules package details everything will be here uh, in the linear component you can see these are the project main folders we'll go back to the tool again and I'll explain see here you can see everything is completed then there is one more command called open in visual studio code so that you don't have to go to uh, the root folder and opening everything and open everything in the folder or you don't have to identify everything you can simply click on open in visual studio code which will automatically open the project in visual studio code uh, in an easier manner okay so now you can see uh, all the packages related packages has been installed here let's see here everything has been installed it took almost 72 seconds which means more than one minute it took for installing all the dependencies and zero vulnerabilities and all these errors these are not errors warnings only because of uh, all packages deprecated packages you, these you can ignore which will be fixed in the coming updates so let's click on the open in visual studio code Again, that will automatically open as I mentioned. See, it has created these are the two major components of a PCF project control manifest and index.ts. Control manifest is actually the metadata of your control, which explains the required parameters, names, uh, like default values, and all the details. Then index.ts is a TypeScript file where we write our actual logic inside. So let's open control manifest. This is for a uh, field type uh, or data type field, and it will be slightly different for a uh, data set where you can see some more components will be different, which we'll be explaining in another video. So, for time being, uh, that's it for today guys i'll be creating next video releasing next video soon explaining all the components in the control dot manifest or control manifest for of uh, for control of type field uh, till then bye bye uh, guys you just try out this create your first project and wait for the next video we will see your next video bye bye